Hi, this is Mike, Family DIY TV, and today I'm with my Echo Show 15. And I want you to kind of look at this, and what do you notice about this that's a little unique? Yeah, I know, the wood frame, I'm gonna get into that a little later. Wires, yes, no wires. I have this nice clean install. I'm gonna show you how I did this. I'm also gonna give you four to five other solutions that would probably work for anybody. And hopefully you can get the same setup in your house pretty quick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off the wall and I'm gonna show you the backside of this unit. So you can see it gets plugged in by this little plug here, okay? I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay, so this was what was coming out the wall and this is what the plug looks like. The issue with the plug is the size of this plug. That's what makes this install or hiding these wires so difficult. Amazon decided to use this giant plug um, and the issue is you can't, obviously what I wanted to do is just put an outlet here, right? And you just would plug it in. But obviously you see a problem there, that's not gonna work. They also make a recess, they make recessed outlets as well. And what that allows you to do is actually recess this inside the wall. Makes sense, right? Problem is this is so big that it will not fit inside of a recessed box. So basically it just kiboshes any solution that you can come up with where this gets plugged in behind this, like a TV. Okay, so we had to come up with a unique, a unique solution, and I'm going to show you my solution now. All right, so my solution may be a little hacky, and, and I don't blame you if you call me out in the comments. Um, I almost didn't make this video because my solution is very unique to me, and it wasn't my first choice. My first choice was to add an outlet back here, but like I showed you, you can't do that. You have to relocate that plug somewhere else, and then you need to run this to the back of the back of the. Um, back of the unit. Now they do sell an extension and I'll put a link to that down below where you can actually make this cord another six feet long because I know they anticipated that that plug had to be somewhere else than just here, right? All right, so this is my solution. Okay, we plug it in here, right there, okay? Now my solution is the wire runs through the wall, it goes, it pops out through some trim work that's in my laundry room, that's what's on the other side of this wall, and it plugs into an outlet there, okay? This was an ideal situation for me. This is not what I wanted to do, but it, it, it kind of, it is what it is. And I'm gonna say it again, it was a little hacky, but I'm gonna show you a couple other ways that you could do this at your own place. So option one is to do exactly what I did. Maybe wherever this is installed, there's a wall on the other side, there obviously is, and it's there's a plug. So maybe you could pop through that wall and plug it in, um, on the other side of the wall, okay? If that doesn't work, what you could do is you run, run the, the wire down the wall and you pop out maybe somewhere like down here, okay? So let's say there's an outlet down here, okay? You can maybe put something like this, it's a low voltage box next to it and you could pop out the wall and plug it in, all right? So then basically your plug would be down here, okay? Not a great solution, but Amazon's kind of forcing you to come, come, with, come up with a new or unique situation. Another solution is, let's say there is no outlet here, right? What you could do is you could just install an outlet down here, okay? So what you could do is you could use an existing outlet, find an existing outlet. I have an outlet right over here, okay? And what you could do is you take that all apart, you use a drill bit like this, you cut your hole and you drill through the wall poke your wire to it, pull it through, and put an outlet down here. Now, you're, I know you're getting into electrical and that's not ideal situation, but with the same thing, you would basically put your new outlet in with a new old work box, and you maybe put something like this next to it. They actually make hybrid ones that are just, that have this together, all right? So you can buy this double box where you can then pop this wire out and pop it in here. You have to make like a custom plate here, or maybe you use one that's a plate for like a coax, and it's, again, it's not a beautiful solution, but it's, it'll work, okay? Um, if you don't wanna drill through the wall, what you could do is you could just go down with the wire. If you have a basement, go down in the basement, come back up, and again, put an outlet here. Or you can go up and then down the wall and put an outlet here. Again, you still have to pop out and relocate that plug somewhere. It's very unfortunate, okay? Um, but that's, that's my solution. That's some ideas for you. I think that will work for anybody. Um, if there's any other ideas, put those ideas down, down below in the comments. 
Um, but I'm Mike from Family DIY TV. I want to ask you to subscribe. I'm going to ask you to like this video. And I'm going to ask you to share this video. That'll help the algorithm and help me out. All right. So before we go, we'll talk about the frame. Uh, this is just a two by six frame put together with Craig screws. Uh, basically, we just wanted to go to natural look, so we um, sanded it down and just put some stain on it, okay? So this is just basically to make this thing a little bit bigger so it doesn't get lost on this big wall. But that's it. I'm Mike, like I said, family DIY TV, and I'm out.